stop buying Minecraft Marketplace add-ons, do this instead. The Minecraft Marketplace now has mods and add-ons that you can download, whether you're on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, Pocket Edition, or PC. But all of these devices can either have free mods and add-ons, or you can get them a lot cheaper than you do on the Minecraft Marketplace. Let me explain. So add-ons on the Marketplace are very expensive, and a lot of them are really bad quality. Of course, if there is a creator that has an add-on on the Marketplace that you want to support, or if you think some of the add-ons are worth it, then you can buy them, but a lot of these add-ons are poor quality. I've seen some good ones, for example, there's some kind of world builder one that I saw someone review or use, and there was also a Tinkerer's Construct one, which I saw some YouTubers use as well, and I believe that one is made by the people that make it on Java Edition for, for the Bedrock Marketplace. So there are some cool add-ons, I've never personally used any of them, but I have seen people have used some good ones that look pretty cool. But the majority of them are really expensive, really overpriced, and just not worth it. So you can download mods and add-ons for free on any devices. You probably already know that you can on the Pocket Edition and on the PC. You can just download an MC file from any of the Minecraft Pocket Edition or Minecraft Bedrock download websites, and you can double-click it to open it on PC, then add it to your world or your realm. If you are on the Pocket Edition, I believe you can also do something similar and open it in Minecraft once you've downloaded it. Or for both of these versions, you can put the .zip files into your Minecraft mods or add-ons folder for your Minecraft on your device. Now, look up tutorials for the Pocket Edition and the PC if you do need to know how to do this, as there's many tutorials out there. But for the majority of people, the reason they get the add-ons in the Marketplace is because they're on console and they don't know you can do it without needing a Marketplace. So if you are a console player, you have a couple of different options. The first one is to get Minecraft on a Pocket Edition or on a PC and just host a world and you can join your world through the LAN option if you're on the same internet connection. You can then play the same world that you have on your PC, but you can play it from your console. But you're going to have to have your console open 24-7 and on to be able to do this and your PC on because you need to join from your PC onto your console. So another option you have is to get a friend who has mods or add-ons or has PC to host a world for you to play on and you can join that on your console. But again, your friend needs to be online to, for you to be able to use these add-ons or these mods. If you are on Xbox, you can download mods straight onto your Xbox. There's different methods for this. They're always changing, but there is always an updated way as to how you can do it, but it is quite complicated. Or if you're on Xbox, PlayStation or Switch, you can use Minecraft Realm and you can transfer mods and add-ons that way. Now, you might get a free month trial for a realm if you've never had one before, or if you don't, you can buy a Minecraft realm. You only will need a two-player realm, which is about, I think, three pounds or maybe somewhere like four pounds, which is probably like nearer like six or seven dollars. And if you're in a different currency, there will be different prices. You can also buy a more expensive realm that will have more player slots if you do actually plan to use it as a realm. But if you just plan to use it to transfer your worlds from your PC or your phone to your console, then you can just buy the cheaper one if you're not going to actually use it as a realm with a load of friends. But let's say, for example, that you don't have Minecraft Pocket Edition, right? Buy Minecraft Pocket Edition, it's about $5. So we'll say that's $5. We'll use dollars just because I know the majority of people know the conversion rates from dollars to their own currency, but it might be cheaper because of regional pricing. So feel free to check the prices for yourself for this stuff. But for $5, you buy Minecraft Pocket Edition, or you might already have Minecraft Pocket Edition. And then if you buy a Minecraft realm for a month, so let's use the two-player one plus the host. So let's say this is $5. I don't know the exact price, but in total between that and Minecraft Pocket Edition, it's $10, right? And you can get your Minecraft Realm, you can have your Pocket Edition device, download as many of these mods or add-ons from the Minecraft Pocket Edition download websites or the Minecraft Bedrock download websites as you do want, and put these onto a Minecraft world or many different Minecraft worlds. You can then put the world onto a realm, and you can upload any of your worlds onto a Minecraft Realm. You can then download the world from your Minecraft Realm onto your console, as long as you're in the same Microsoft account on your console, and as you are on your phone, you can then upload the world, you can then download the world onto your console, and then even when the realm expires, if you cancel the realm subscription, you can still play on that world on your console. But the cool thing about this is you can add as many of these different worlds and transfer them from your realm to your console from your phone. Or you can put, of course, multiple of these add-ons onto one world as well. That is also an option. So it works out a lot cheaper than buying Minecraft Marketplace add-ons, as some of these Marketplace add-ons are around $10 just for one add-on, or at least a lot of them are around like $8, $7 or so, so you can get this a lot cheaper. And of course, if you did buy the Realm, you can also use the Realm for the month until you cancel it, or you can of course keep the Realm subscription if you do want to. You can also buy a slightly more expensive Realm subscription for, it's still under $10, but I don't know the exact price, and you can have up to 10 people plus the host online, so then you could actually play with a load of people, have it open 24-7. You just get better value for money no matter which option you do. To learn how to upload and download worlds from a Minecraft Realm, check out the video on screen.